Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sell to Vigo, Maya plus 105, Hirona plus 260, draw plus 250, sell to a minus 105 to score twice, Hirona are uh, minus 245. So that, I don't understand here. So over two and a half goals is minus 115. And yet all the numbers are telling you this is either 1-1 one, one or 2-1 one to the home side, Pavlos. Uh, okay, we had, we had uh, a lot of time to talk about Delta. It's been a while, so uh, let's talk about Delta. You know, at the start of the season, they were so bad that they were battling relegation. And then um, they picked up, uh, you know, a lot of slack. They did a, good, a really good run, actually. And then we, they misled us to believe that uh, they're actually fighting for Europe, for the top spots, you know, top six, top seven. Uh, but now they, they've done it again. Um, they've just won. They won just one of their last, uh, what is it, uh, ten? Five. Nine well, yeah, I mean, they're four straight uh, defeats. Yeah, and they can't stop bleeding goals. Uh, their offense has been, um, you know, quiet as of late. So I really Pavlos, don't know what Pavlos, to expect. Sorry to interrupt you here, but we've got we've got to point this out to people, right? They've scored forty goals and they've let in fifty. That tells you everything you need to know. That if they score two, the other team are going to score. If they score one, the other team are going to score two. It's crazy that they're averaging one and a half goals over against. Or I mean. You look, they've lost, 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 and then they'll go and win two, and you think, oh, well done, Selva. Do you think they're still in trouble? 39, four points off of the uh, danger zone, the drop zone. Very much so, very much so. Uh, they, you know, that's why I said their, their, their season started with them, you know, battling a relegation. Then they went on to, to actually challenge the top seven, and now they're back to battling relegation because they are. They're just four points above with three more matches to go. Of course they are. Mathematically, they can still be relegated. So... Uh, I don't really know what's the psychology in the Delta camp here, but uh, uh, Girona, they've shown that they don't give, uh, you know, they, they don't care who you are. They're going to drop uh, multiple goals on you. Uh, of course, they can't keep clean sheets either. So I believe that there should be goals in this one. I believe that there should be goals in this one. Uh, but, uh, you know, especially uh, with Girona, actually, I'm very much in the chase for the seventh spot. So. Um, yeah. Maybe both teams to score in over two and a half goals. If I had, if I absolutely had to bet on something, that would be. It. Yeah, we wouldn't go anywhere near Celta winning, even if it's mm. plus one oh five. Um, Girona, do you, Matty, do you think that Girona they get? Listen, what are they at the moment? They're like two points behind Athletic Club, but they've got chances, especially with Celta. Celta are a type of side that even if they were full from bottom, they'd think they were safe. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can see Girona going there and, and getting a result. I think they've been very impressive in the last few months. Of course, there was that fantastic 4-2 victory over Real Madrid. Uh, they've, they've performed well against against Barca this season. They've won away at Athletic Club. Um, so, yeah, I see no reason why they can't go to Celta and, and get a result. Um, yeah, like you say, Celta, they're just sleepwalking into it. They've hardly picked up a point. I think the only win they've had in the last 10 is, is Elche. And that, I think, was a last-minute goal. So, yeah, they're in real bad form. This is kind of the classic Celta cycle, though, because we seem to do this every season with them. Their season effectively starts 10 or 15 games in from the rest, and then that's when they change the coach and start again, and then they tail off by the end, and then at the start of next season, if they haven't already changed, it'll go the same way, and then they'll make a change and, and go again. So we've seen this many times with Celta. It was exactly the same with Chacho Cudet. He came in, did really well, and it tailed off, and he was sacked. Cavallal is, is coming and started off really well. That effect seems to have really nosedived in the last couple of months. So, yeah, I think and they'll probably think of it as one or two more points and they will be safe. And they're probably right because, what, they're on 39. So yeah. if, if Valencia are on 40, if we're saying they're safe, then Celta need just a couple of points. But like I say, if, if they do play for a draw at home, I think Girona can, can take advantage for that. But, yeah, so I, for me, I, I quite fancy Girona win or, or that draw. Yeah, I think uh, I think at minus one twenty five, Girona double chance is probably the way to go. Let's move on though. The draw is at plus two fifty. If you just wanted to go, we can't split them. I go down the middle. Uh, let's have a little look at the official picks because you know that myself and Pavlos we are barred. We are our, our name is not on the list and we are not coming in. Um, Girona draw no bet at massive plus one seventy. Remember they're around plus two sixty to uh, to win the game outright against. A Celtic Vigo side that has only won one in their last 10. 